But I have a brand new tank, a 29 gallon tank. There it is. But this doesn't go together. Okay, three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. If you missed the last video, make sure you guys go check it out because I now have a new fresh room. And you may get a little confused in this video if you didn't watch the last video, but I have a brand new tank. Let go! I have a giant tank right here. I have two boxes. I gotta build stuff. We gotta set everything up. And the stand is now built. If you guys saw the last video, you would know that I have a brand new tank, a 29 gallon tank. It is my biggest tank ever. And today I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting it up. We're gonna put sand in the bottom. We gotta do the filter, the lid, the heater, basically everything. The only thing I have right now is the tank and the stand. Got the filter, the lid, the heater is somewhere buried in that box of fish stuff. And we also have two bags of play sand right here got our bucket, our siphon, everything we need to go ahead and set this tank up, get the substrate in, because it is really hard to put the substrate in, get the tank cycling, and then try and put the substrate in afterwards. So in order to get this tank to cycle properly, I need to get the sand in there after I clean it out, get the water in there, filter, heater, lid, get everything plugged in, up and going. And then we can add some plants and fish in some future videos. All right, so right now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take that bucket. We're gonna pour in about half of that sand, maybe a little bit less, cause we wanna make sure we clean it really well. Put it into the bucket, go into the bathroom, and uh, clean out this sand so we can put it in the bottom of this tank, which by the way, I'm really excited for. Make sure you guys comment down below and tell me what fish you guys wanna see me get for this 29 gallon, because I already have some platies, I already have some neon tetras, and more fish are going into both of these tanks in very, very soon videos, probably like tomorrow's video or the next day. Um, in the next couple days, I'll be getting more fish for both of these tanks. So I'm not entirely sure what to get for this tank yet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and uh, you guys can watch me try and put some sand into that bucket without getting it in the carpet. <laughs> Now we got our sand, let's go. All right, so while we wait for the sand, I have a little system going with the shower head and the siphon, but uh, while we wait for that, let's go ahead and set up the filter and the lid, and uh, let's find this heater somewhere in here, wherever it may be. There it is. All right, so first up we got the filter right here. This is gonna be the perfect filter. They did have a smaller one, but they ran out of stock, so I just got the bigger filter. I figure it can't hurt to have a little bit more filtration. Okay. So that wasn't supposed to happen. I think I may have just broken my brand new filter. So now it's time to take out the instructions because I have no idea what just broke off. But this doesn't go together. <laughs> yeah, not a clue where this thing goes. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess that that piece goes right there. When we turn the filter on, if it doesn't work, then we know it doesn't go there. Now onto the lid that I really hope I don't drop. I know this goes in the back. All right, so we now got the lid and the filter on there and our first batch of sand is ready. All right, so this is what it looks like with the first bucket of sand. Obviously, we need at least one more. I think the rest of that bag right there should be enough so that I can start filling it up and everything. I mean, worst case, I have to add more sand and the water will get really cloudy, but that's all right. Second bucket is ready to go. So 
So that is two buckets of sand right there. I mean, they weren't full, but two buckets of sand, perfect amount of sand. There is some water in here because I was trying to rinse out the bucket a little bit um, and everything. Some of the sand needs to get like pushed back into place, but we are ready to fill this thing up. Then I'll get the hood and the heater on because it is a hanging heater. It is not an under gravel heater. So uh, let's go ahead and fill this thing up. The tank is finally filled up. Now we gotta put the heater and the hood on and uh, turn this filter on and see what this looks like. I know it's really cloudy um, and I did rinse the sand really, really well. I spent like 20 minutes in each bucket and there wasn't that much sand in each bucket. So it's just because the water was just poured in here through buckets and not like through a siphon or, you know, the little bowl method. So let's go ahead and put the heater and the hood on and uh, see what this thing looks like. All right, so just with the suction cups onto the heater, I'm gonna put it in, I don't know what corner. I think the left corner uh, by the filter so it'll circle around the heat. And uh, last but not least, the hood. Everything is now in this tank. We got the hood, the filter, the heater, and uh, now it's time to plug this stuff in and see how it works. Heater is now on, as you can see the little red light in there. Okay, three, two, one. And we got flow. Since everything is set up and since the water is really, really cloudy, I will see you guys tomorrow when this thing is all cleared up, it's heated up a little bit, and uh, we can actually see what the inside looks like. So, I'll catch you tomorrow. This tank has been cycling now for four days, I believe, and I did just record the outro to one of my other videos. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, this video before the other video, but I got new fish, um, but I had to record the outro the same day, so don't mind my appearance. But like I said, this tank has been cycling for about four days now. I am considering doing uh, probably like a 40% water change um, in about three days, just because it seems like it's not completely settled. Like the sand, I feel like I maybe didn't rinse it good enough, even though I spent like 20 minutes rinsing, rinsing each bucket. But yeah, let's go ahead and roll the B-roll. <laughs> Yeah, this tank has cleared up quite a bit from the last time I picked up the camera, um, but it is kind of still not that clear. Um, obviously, like, it's really clear compared to what it was, but I feel like I should do, maybe not a 40%, maybe I'll just drop it down, like, a couple inches, cycle it out, see how I feel about it. But there's actually sand on the heater, which is also a little concerning because obviously that's not what it's supposed to be like. So yeah, this tank, I am probably going to like, you know, get a little bit of water out because there's like, it's not as clear as I'd like it to be. Uh, plants coming really soon and obviously fish won't be coming for a couple weeks. And then just one last thing, this sand right here, I did a lot of research on it um, to figure out what sand I could use that wasn't aquarium sand because that stuff costs a fortune. But I just picked up this all natural play sand from Home Depot. I think it was less than $5 a bag which is perfect, and I only used, in this 29 gallon, I didn't even use the full bag, there's still a decent amount left in there. You don't want sand that is bleached or anything with chemicals in it, which is why I have the natural sand, because with the chemicals, it'll completely mess up your tank and could kill your fish. Um, so you definitely don't want that, you want play sand or like all-purpose sand that doesn't have chemicals in it. I mean, you guys tell me, what, what do you guys think? I think the sand looks better than gravel because I do have gravel in both of these tanks over here. And I don't know, I figured it'd be nice to have a different substrate. Okay, so I just took the thumbnail. That's why like everything is out like this. Not gonna lie, I try to make it look like the 10 gallon setup tank video, like that thumbnail, because that thing, like you guys are just killing that with the views. On the way to 15,000 views on that video, which is my most viewed video ever. Like I have other YouTube channels. I've had other YouTube channels. And th honestly, they do pretty well, but this video literally is just like taking off and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support on it and the support of my channel in general. So I tried to make the thumbnail look a little bit like it, although I struggled a little bit. I literally have my filter balancing on my tripod. Well, at least the box anyway, but um, that is gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what fish you guys want me to get. Also, let me know what you think of the new setup. Like I said, plants and fish coming very soon. You guys will not be disappointed, but plenty more videos to come, video every other day. So uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, comment down below, leave a like if you like the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time with another Planet Fishness. I don't even know what to call it, but uh, I'll see you guys next time.